Well, here's a treat for you, no matter the weather. It is baby love over at the Wildlife World Zoo. They just welcomed two new members of the family, and these births are very significant to the valley. So Jessica is on the scene. She is uh, getting to meet some of the babies this morning. It tells all about it from the Wildlife World Zoo. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Now, these are going to be the animals that you associate with swinging through the rainforest. They've got those really long arms. A lot of people think they look like monkeys or they are monkeys, but they're not. They're actually part of the ape family. And what is so fascinating is they are monogamous, although I did read they do believe in divorce, but when they do have babies, they typically have about one at a time. And I am with uh, Christy Morkum out here at the Wildlife World Zoo, and they make some really good parents, correct? They do, yeah, these guys, they're great parents, and they do a wonderful job raising the young. And for that reason, people can come out to Wildlife World, see the babies on exhibit in their natural family group, and they're such fascinating animals to watch because they're diurnal and this was just such a significant birth not only for us here at Wildlife World but for the world of conservation because we're one of only two zoos in the country to have these pileated gibbons. Unfortunately they're doing pretty bad out there in the wild. Their numbers are decreasing. They're extremely endangered. Gibbons are among the most endangered primates out there and that's due to illegal hunting, bushmeat and the destruction of their habitat. They've lost over 99 percent of their habitat out there in southeastern parts of Asia. And so you were talking about how these are, you're only one of the two zoos in the country to have these specific ones. You have another couple just down the way that has a baby of their own. That's right. So we have uh, several different family groups of these gibbons, three different types. We have the Siamang, we have the white-handed gibbon, and then these pileated gibbon. And uh, that gives us one of the most diverse gibbon collections in the country as well. And gibbons are just such fascinating uh, creatures because they spend most of their time up in the trees and like you had mentioned they can swing from their arms and they can swing at 35 miles per hour in 30 to 50 foot strides and the baby just kind of hangs on there yeah so right now the baby's under a month old so the baby spends the majority of its day hanging on mom nursing whenever it gets hungry and over the next couple months it'll start to gain some independence and start trying new foods and spending a little bit more time away from mom but they can spend anywhere from a year to two years with mom and you said that they nurse that entire year and you don't have them in the nursery because mom she's a good she's a good mom right yeah she <laughs> she's a fantastic mom and it's so great when you have the wonderful mothers who so can come out to wildlife world and see all the babies we have on exhibit and then when we deem it's in the animal's best interest we'll raise them in the baby animal nursery and we give the public a unique opportunity to get up close and be a part of that process and you have the largest collection of gibbons in the country yeah we have one of the top collections of gibbons in the entire country which we're so proud of because these guys are so endangered and really successful breeding programs which is fantastic so if they do go extinct out in the wild it's our hopes there's enough genetic diversity to sustain the species under human care and you've had 12 over the years we have so we've had 12 gibbon babies in the last 18 years and this is our third pileated gibbon baby so extremely rare and you can kind of see his face now you haven't named the baby yet we haven't so sometimes sometimes the name just comes right away after the uh, baby's born and sometimes especially for an animal this significant the keeper staff really wants to take their time and come up with the perfect name it's a little girl right it is it's a little girl she kind of looks like a baby Yoda <laughs> she does I think that is such a fitting name and baby Yoda is so cute well, you also have other uh, babies here. You've got uh, baby zebra. You've got two baby bobcats. Lots of babies. Lots of babies. It's a great time to come out, especially during monsoon season. It's one of my favorites because the animals love it. It's enrichment for them and different environment than what they're used to. So it's really great. Thank you so much. So a uh, really good time to come out and see some babies. You know, I was doing my research on gibbons and I accidentally typed in, I have to tell you guys, this is so funny. I was typing in Google, how many gibbies are there in the wild? <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I we only got one. one. Right. There's only one. <laughs> they should be named after Gibby. Yeah. Right? It all just makes sense. Thanks, well, Jess. the new and improved Gibby that we're going to see in a couple oh, minutes. I'm ready for that. <laughs>